So no dark hit this time, and I think I know why. Uh, air dodge. I'm sorry, not air dodge. What am I saying? Arrows. Arrow dodge um, off stage into the blast zone. Wait, wrong set. <laughs> Help. Okay. Help. So. Oh, ah, this is my Mommy, is it Oh, yeah, helper. Huh? Oh, sorry. <laughs> what was that? No Spanish. I know it's a foreign tongue, but you don't understand. <laughs> no, it, it sounds it sounds pretty, but it's like so oh, it was unexpected. I'm so I'm so touched, but I'm gonna mute myself now. Bye. <laughs> Adios. All right, now getting back into this. Um, so I think the reason why he's going pit instead of dark pit is because um, arson recovery. Honestly, I actually think it's pretty bad. Um, sure, it like has a great amount of distance, but unlike. No we hit need box. tether recovery. Yeah. Sorry? No hitbox. Uh, it's kind of telegraphed. Big straight line. Yeah. Like, to me, it's like the slower version of Pits. Like, that's honestly how it feels like. Like, sure, it has a little bit of invincibility, but then as soon as you kind of get the get the timing right and you start to learn yeah. how that up -y works, it, it, it's bad. Um, on top of that, uh, the regular tether recovery actually has a lot of trouble versus Pitt's regular arrow because you can put Joker in this weird position where he's trying to um, accelerate towards the ledge and you just stop that acceleration briefly with that arrow. And then if he's trying to defend himself by, you know, just mashing down B and trying to gather our scent, that doesn't really help because now he's put in a position where he's forced to do our scent recovery. And that's not good either. So it's like a win-win scenario with its arrows. Hmm. Yeah. Against Joker, uh, one of Pit's advantages off stage is obviously the arrows, but another thing is also just off stage Nair. Um, they stand at the perfect angle for uh, Joker against. So if Joker is without a jump, uh, Pit can definitely gimp him with that Nair. It just sends you straight forward and you can't really do much. Nice. I like that he intimidated him with the dash dance so he could drop shield. Brilliant. Down throw into the tip. Yeah, you know, um, aside from offstage gameplay, I would say another element of this matchup that's really important for Pit is knowing how to perfect Orbitar movements because obviously there's a fair share of projectiles from Joker. And if you know how to be over his Orbitars, not only is it a free parry, but you can actually uh, not only challenge the down gun, but also uh, challenge gun in general. And that's something not even a lot of top tier characters can say. Uh, so that's a huge advantage. Uh, that was a good uh, wait. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, ba Bashi, he, he has a little bit of a habit of pushing forward too much, I would say. Like, you'll notice he'll DI in. That's just him buffering DI in from the dash forward. So right here, you can get like a down tilt kill confirm, or if you really want to, you can just dash forward and just down smash. He's going for that up smash, which is like a little bit too laggy. I wouldn't ever commit to that. Our protection, good. Keeping it up. Nicely done, nicely done. He did a bunch of the back air shield pressure, and then he anticipated the punish. Just went straight for that dash attack and killed. Good job. So fun fact about Pitt's dash attack, uh, the hitbox is actually a little bit funky. So if you notice, he kind of like swipes above him. Um, the intent of the ultimate dash attack was to be an anti-air, but as a result of a programming error, um, they actually made it so that his dash attack actually has the smash 4 hitbox. 
So it does not have a hitbox above him when he dash attacks. It only has one that's forward. But the benefit of that is that that forward hitbox is actually really destroyed. So there's like a pro and con to this uh, air. Interesting. Uh, game two. Bushy starting off pretty strong. Certainly. You, he, he did mess up the follow-up a little bit. He was going to go for fair drag down, uh, down throw, dare and air, which would have netted him 50%. But still, like he didn't lose that much stage control. He's fine. Like I said before, he holds in a little bit too much. Like, you'll notice he'll roll in, he'll DI in. Like, no need to do that. Like, what he typically likes to do is either dash forward or jump back. My heart stopped for a second. Yeah, understandably so. Uh. <coughs> okay, I'm back. Um. Yeah, so I guess that's an example of what I mean when I say Joker's up B is basically the worst version of Pit's up B. Like, it's. He was able to recover before PokeFans did, despite PokeFans starting this up B first. Forward throw. Get him off stage. What? I've never heard him say not yet. What? Why did he even say that? I think, I think he knew he was going to die, and therefore that voice clip uh, came out. I think when Joker is about to die, that voice clip comes out when he saves himself. Hmm. Either that or just plain RNG, mm -hmm. who knows. <laughs> Yeehaw. <laughs> Yeehaw. <laughs> Joker secretly dance. <laughs> Alright. Um, yeah, he was just hogging this rage. Um, that's good. Now, Pokefans pretty much... All he can really do is just hard commit to, like, back ears. Like, he just has to keep spamming it. And if it doesn't work, then... He just kind of just has to keep evading. It's rough here. Oh. Ooh. Great punish on the re-grab, but still wasn't enough. Uppy is huge. Yeah. Yeah, I notice this a lot. Um, I find this in my play as well. We tend to get... Wow, right? Ooh, that's unfortunate. Um, yeah, as I was saying, we tend to get a little bit lazy at leap percent. Like, we don't... Or at least from what I can see, we mm -hmm. tend to not mash out at like late percents. Um, Bashy could have just kept hogging that rage. Honestly, if you just kept mashing out or grab, you probably would have been fine. But that said, Pokefans did SD. So now we're at a 2 to 1 stock uh, scenario. And he's reading all this DI perfectly. He just got the down throw bear mix up for DI away. And he's enjoying himself right now. No need to hard commit, just let Poke fans approach, and now he's without our send, leaving him vulnerable. Oh. Yes. Wow. It's game over for you! It's game over for you! Alright, one more game. And, uh,. See if Pokefan can make any sort of adaptations because uh, right now I think it was first he got one stock, now I got two stock, so not looking good. He just seems to respect it more a lot, more on off stage. Because what I see commonly from Pokefans is that whenever Bashi is off stage, he's like desperate to get those kills or desperate to get any off uh, off stage damage. Uh, no need to do that. Um, you know, Joker has the the specials to kind of just 
do the work for him. Like, he doesn't need to hard commit to an aerial. He can just downward gun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like, like that little jump to up smash. He, he, he was probably baiting an air dodge. Oh, and the dark pit comes out. Dark pit. Three, two, okay. one, Because FD. Go! Yeah. I like yeah. that. You pick the, uh... Pick the blue Joker so we get the, the P3 uh, aesthetic. Much appreciated. Oh, Good is taste. that how it works? Yeah. I never understood. Yeah, on tilt and two. Nice string. Mm. Right there, if they're too far away, because they can DI the fair, I believe I need to come in. Just commit to the dash attack. The dash attack is super disjointed at the front, so better damage that way. Um, good stock. Actually, since we're on the topic of Dark Pit, I would like to point out that mm -hmm. FD with Dark Pit's arrows, kind of OD. Honestly, like, it's, it's really good. Um, they can't really do much about it. Um, they can't camp on platforms like they usually can. Uh, they kind of just have to take the hit or just shield. So this is actually a brilliant decision from Bashi. That was oh, a really missed. stupid decision. That Doesn't was also matter. a stupid decision. That's an intelligent decision. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> you waited, and then you decided to commit anyway. Ooh, okay, that, you know what, that was actually kind of sick. I like that he gets the upper drag down. Okay, alright. Background characters. Who, 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 who said that? <laughs> I think his name is Yusuke, and then the other one, I forget, Hari. Is Yusuke that, like... Was it like the little cat? I don't remember. No, that's uh, Morgana. Oh, Morgana. He said, you're mine. I, I wonder how his voice clips work. It seems like every time his opponent's at kill percent or he himself is at kill percent, the voice clips come out. So I wonder if that's intentional. If so, that's smart. Ah! Yes. All right, well. Pokefan showing some real life in that one. Uh, after getting two stock game two, uh, does a two stock of his own against Bashi's Dark Pit. And you said that Dark Pit was the the pick because of uh, you went to FD. Correct. Uh, Dark Pit arrows are really really good on FD because unlike other stages where there's platforms, mm -hmm. uh, you can't really evade them as well. Um, I'd also look to point out that Dark Pit's arrows are not only stronger, but they're also faster as well. So that can make it even harder on FTP. Okay. Alright, on to game four. What are we going to see? I would expect that since he has counterpick advantage, he's probably going to go back to Pit. Also, I gotta say, Bashi and I actually have common tastes in outfits. Um, <laughs> the skins that he uses for Pit, yeah, he's, we're all homies out here, we're all Pit players. The skin that he uses for Pit and Dark Pit are actually the skins I used for Smash 4 Pit and Dark Pit, surprisingly oh. enough. Yeah. I only changed them in Ultimate. I went from Gold Outfit to Blonde, and then for Dark Pit, I went from Green Skin to the Red and Black Outfit, where he has the... All right, well, you guys can uh, exchange fashion tips after. Um, game four on Lilat, though. Um, I just love it. I actually don't think that this is that this is that bad of a jo uh, stage four Joker, but I can definitely see like if you're not used to certain things that it can definitely trip you up. And like I guess what the general purchase that Pit makes is maybe like. 
uh, not too affected by slants and just, you know, it's nice to have all those low platforms. Uh, I mean, I would say because of that. That was brilliant. Like I said before, like he likes to go for that drag down air. He finally got the drag down air S smash. Mm hmm. Not yet. So I would say it's not that it's a bad stage for Joker specifically, but I do think that in this matchup it is a bad stage uh, for two reasons. Number one, the way the platforms are positioned are really bad for Joker. Um, it's like for, there's no top plat. We can't get those early kills on the top plat. Mm -hmm. They also can't string as well. And the up smash and the up airs go right through the platforms. Like they're low enough for Pit to really take to advantage catch of them. them. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, on top oh, of that, oh. oh. I have a feeling that only ID seed. Yeah, they're still going. All right. Okay. Well. So going to this match, we see we see an orange and red spark sparking between these character profiles right here. And uh, right now, they're committing to the same neutral option. Um, you see the really just perfect it out. drift in from both character profiles. Yeah. Um, both profiles going in at the exact same time. Very insane. Igniting that little spark. <laughs> oh. All right, well. And the Super Smash Brothers Battlefield Arena logo is a great stage for both characters, as you can see. Uh, it looks, it's looking like an even matchup. Um, yeah, no one's really hard committing. They're picking What's the same this? option. They're oh my god, it's Master Hand! Ah! Oh no way! And right there, slapping him across the face. Even match of play. <laughs> slap, slap. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Can you do um? Wait, put your hand over the uh, little orb that's being produced between them. The little spark. Oh, they're like attacking. Yeah. Look, uh, look Master Hand is putting out lasers. Uh, <laughs> God. He's shooting lasers out of his hands. Wait, no, no, no. Do the um, do that little attack where he goes from the top and then he just goes straight down and twists. <laughs> I gotta you know go what like... I mean? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like that. <laughs> Uh, he's like, whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> <laughs> Master Hand trying to defuse the situation. Very nice. Ooh. Very astute by Brojo. <laughs> wait, wait, I have, I have an idea. I have an idea. All right. Um, um, since you're in spectator stands, wait, deselect for a moment. Just deselect. Just. <laughs> <laughs> We're out here, bro. Good. All right. All right, Bashy, oh, won, Bashy won the set. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs>